video, I'm going to show you how to use these thingamajigs over here called cameras. So, when you play the game, you notice that it'll always set the view to whatever way that you see. Now, if you want it to always set to this certain point, you can use cameras. Just press zero on the numpad and you can view whatever view the camera's in. And now, if you um, go here, give it an always, give it a scene actuator, you can choose set camera, and just select that camera. So it will always set this camera and go into that view. So that's what happens. Now there, if you want this camera to follow this cube when it moves around, there are some ways to do that. You can either select this cube, hold shift and select it, and then hit control P, and then you can parent it. So then it goes and follows it that way. Or you can go move that parent. Then you can always do the camera actuator and select the target, which is the cube. And now it will follow the camera in this certain this object in this certain way. So we've got to set the height. Let's make it five. The distance, minimum distance. I'll make that twenty. Maximum distance. I'll make that twenty-five. Damping. I'll just uh, set that to zero. And now you can see that it's following it. If you set the damping to a high value, you can notice it behaves a little differently, the camera does. If you wanted to set it like a very large amount, like 10 is the maximum, it does some weird stuff. So let's just set this to zero. There are other options you can do with this camera. If you want the camera to see further, let's say you wanted to view this cube from a very far distance, like 110, 110, then it goes pretty far, but if you want it to go super far, like 300 or something, um, it's too far away. So here, you can see the camera's end value, so this is how far it can see. So you want to set this to a super high value if it's something that far away. So the farther you set this value, the further away it can see. But if you want to set this back to normal, oops, to 20, just set this to 100, that's the default value. You can also change the sensor's size horizontally, so you can make it 20 and it'll look longer and zoom in a little more. You can also change the mode. Now, we're actually gonna I'm gonna make this thing zoom out a little more. If you change it to or graphic, it'll view this cube in a two-dimensional sort of way. Panom panoramic or whatever. Uh, basically the same thing as that. Let's just say you want, if you wanted multiple cameras, you can do something like this. So let's just um, make this one no camera. But let me just um, get rid of that script. And I'm going to make this, when you press the keyboard, numpad 1, it'll set camera 1. And then when you press the keyboard, numpad 2. It'll set the camera, camera, camera. Now there's also something else. Every time you press zero, it will set to this camera. Now if you want it to set to this camera when you press, every time you press zero, if you want it to go to this camera's view, just hit control zero. And then every time you do that, when you press zero, the numpad zero, it will go to that spot. Now when you play the game, you can control the view using keyboards one and two. 
you can set between different cameras, if you please, which is pretty good. You can also do this option here, where it shows the camera's frustrum, what the camera can see. And if you set the end for just make this one that has the show frustrum. Oops. If you make it super sight super short, you can see how long its vision is with the camera frustrum. But if you don't want to show that, just don't check that. And that's everything you can do with cameras, and that's it for this tutorial.